Hi everyone, number one Marmaduke fan here, and we are taking another stab at Hooktail. Since last time, I have grinded for experience to go up one level. I'm now level six, and in Paper Mario, levels are a big deal. You can beat the whole game at level 20 normally. But when you're not using Mario at all, it gets a bit tricky. So our strategy is we're going to use nothing but Fire Flowers. We're going to start with Goombella so she can absorb some hits for us and then switch to, Coom to Coops after we've run out of uh, either health for Goombella or items to use. <laughs> Who dares approach me? So, you are friends of the strange-garbed one who came earlier. I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with some spices. What I'll do is saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. Snack time, little appetizers. But which one of you morsels should I taste first? Hmm. Goombella, you get in front. Fire Flower does three damage and pierces through Hooktail's crazy defense. And Mario, of course, does nothing. Let's see, do I want... I'd rather... Yeah, I'd rather Goombella take one more hit, and she can survive it. Alright. Now, if, uh, if Hooktail uses fire, I'm dead next turn. And since Hooktail just stomped me, that means there's a good chance that Hooktail will use fire. So we're gonna have to let Mario... So actually, having Goombella out didn't help that much. I guess I gained one... I guess I gained, like, one hit, but it probably won't make too, mu too much of a difference by the end. Yep, so I had to save Goombella. We're gonna let Mario up front to take some more hits. He's our tank. hate those. It makes it th that because Hooktail can do that, that makes healing items impractical. Yee. If Koops goes down, I'll have the <sighs> Life Shroom. <laughs> oh no. Oh, they're gonna throw a shooting star at me? I'll take it. How much damage does a shooting star do? I know it does damage to all enemies. Huh, confuses them. I don't know if that'll work on a big lug like Hooktail. You know what, let's try it, because if I die, I'm gonna lose it anyway. What the heck? Ooh, that was great! Oh, wait, hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you 1,000 coins, 
What do you say? Can you forgive me? For 1,000 coins? Sure! Keep your coins, fiend! What? You must be joking! You don't need any coins! Then how about the lovely, rare, extra special badge I have? I'll give you that! It's one of a kind, and it's yours for a limited time only! Will you take it? A rare badge? Sure! I mean, keep it, you can! Uh, really? Well, I suppose I could let- I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet? People pay good money to do this. I'm being completely honest right now. Really? So, care to take a whiff of the rich, yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? Maybe just a quick sniff- oh, that, That's disgusting! Hmm. You aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone you know. Uh, I guess I'd better... He ate the audience. <laughs> That's just not right. Oh, ah, now my strength has returned to me. I've had enough of this. Let's finish this guy off fast, Mario. Okay, I have a fighting chance. I've never gotten this far before. Uh, we're, we're gonna let Mario take more damage. Oh boy. I kind of wish I'd saved the shooting star for after he healed. Oy. Well, I can, I can bear that in mind if I'm lucky enough to get a shooting star again. Okay, we're gonna lose Koops. Oh, Koops held on! Koops held on! Wow. But the problem is now Mario and Koops are both within death territory here. Not good. I guess we are freeing a few of the toads. Oh no. I was lucky! Oh my gosh! Whoa! Okay, if the next one's fire, Mario will survive that, and then the life stream will save Koops. So, uh, appeal to no one. No one's left. Two of these left. Come on! Okay, we lost Mario, and yeah, next time fire's coming, which means that Koops could die. And if Koops dies, I'm completely screwed. Uh, I don't know how- Oh, I haven't been paying attention to how much HP uh, Hooktail has. Hooktail's supposed to have 20 HP. Uh, I mean, I've got to appeal anyway, and Mario might as well take the hit. Man, I really wish I'd saved that, saved that shooting star for this part of the fight. Okay. I can go all or nothing on this, uh, because Mario can't change partners. Uh, I think that, I think that Goombella is nearly dead, too. So that would be pointless. Yeah. Alright, so our only option really is to use a Fire Flower and hope that we don't get fire. Did we do it? Did we do it? Come on! Come on! <gasps> we did it! We did it! Yes! But, but I, I, uh, how? Why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals! Oh, I kind of feel bad now. Holy cow! I don't believe it! We were gonna- we were probably gonna die that turn! Oh! <laughs> I can't believe it. And I bet it was the audience throwing that item at us that did it too. Wow! We actually pulled it off, Mario! Now all we have to do is... Find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario! Oh! Oh! Yeah, I'm out! I'm finally out! Whoa, it... it can't be! Eh? D dad Hey! You're... your Koops! Hey, son! You've gotten so big since I saw you last. Well, yeah, I guess I have. But who cares, Dad? I mean, golly! What happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail. 
and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me and gobbled me down whole. It wasn't the feet trick, was it, Dad? No, no, why would it be that? I've been hiding in my shell for ten years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. And boy, was it nasty! Yuck! I'm so glad to finally get out. <laughs> Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried about you we all were? For ten long years, we all thought you'd... You know, we thought your game was over. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been wreaking havoc in town. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? <laughs> it's nasty. What's that? I found it down here in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I kept it as a souvenir. So, this is the thing you're looking for. Perfect! Just perfect! You can have it! Come now, I won't take no for an answer! You're Coop's friend! Please take it! I still can't believe that strategy worked! We did it! We beat Hooktail without using Mario! We got a crystal star, and we learned the special move, Earth Tremor, which we will not use for... This let's play end of chapter. Da, 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 da. Yes, Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Cook Coops even reunited with his long lost father, whom he thought was dead. Yet they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. <laughs> yes. Man, I don't know if it's good that I used the heart, uh, the life shroom on this part, but I think we'll get another chance to get a life shroom for later. Oh boy, the other part of the game. This is great. This will be so exciting for people who haven't played this game before. Oh, great exalted Grotus, we brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x naughts are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Hm. Grotus, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that hooktail creature, you say. Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, it was a mustached dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario. Excuse me, Mario? Oh, no. Oh, well, she said it. Who needs me to voice act? Yeah, <laughs> I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I know all about him. Bef I'll know all about him before long. That I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach. Understood? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Well, Lord Crump, if 
this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the crystal star we're hunting in the Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. What's up? Oh, yeah, sure. Roger, Grotus. And with that, pow, I'm going. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Hmm. Ax not, I summon you. You rang, dude? I mean, sir? You rang, Sir Grotus, dude? Grotus, Sir Grotus, sir! Shut up! Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. The, the Shadow Sirens, sir? But they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them, now! Gotcha! The Honorable Grotus has... N oh, okay, this voice. The Honorable Grotus has need of us. Then we arrive without delay. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Bedlam. Oh, wait, her name is Beldam. I keep thinking Bedlam. Still your tongue, Beldam. We would already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth, and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you, that map is vital to the x naught plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldam. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldam, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. Go! <laughs> Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toadsworth must be worried sick. Again. <clears throat> but hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. Oh boy, oh boy. We're going explorerating. Hmm, doesn't seem to open. Oh, I can't use that. Well, only one thing to do. What a lovely shower. No soap scum even. Wow, I wonder if it works. The game that had a weird thing for getting Princess Peach undressed. Ha! <laughs> she sings part of the Mario song. And it actually changes a little bit each time. Ah, hee hee. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. And she's got her hair up in a nice little ponytail. Look at that. Yeah, we got everything in here. Toilet paper works. Hmm, what was that? Hey, how odd. The doors opened by themselves. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. It doesn't work. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. 
I really gotta get into my falsetto voice, but it's killing my throat. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus? Wait, he's that awful, dumb-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind. So, I'm wondering, why did you lead me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs, and their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer, I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say, you want to observe me? To know more about me? <clears throat> Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because it's just too weird. Please tell me. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe... Is it possible that, well, you're in love with me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help her, you, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness, fun, I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer! Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please, if you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But, of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What, are you insane? The you ex-jerks kidnapped me like common Koopas. And now you call me in here to ask me to teach you the meaning of love. I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Ha! Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? 
All right, let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh, okay then. Good night. Good night, Princess Peach. <clears throat> yeah, we want to save that. I'm sorry, Dave. I can't let you do that. Oh, I, for a second I thought we were looking at Twilight Town. Oh boy, oh boy. Bowser! Oh no. That's not Bowser. <laughs> Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, Kame, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag, Kame Koopa, will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. <clears throat> uh, uh. Please, your glassliness, I have to ask you to wait at the rear of the room. Is that all he says? Greetings, your huffiness. The hag, Kami Koopa, will be arriving at any moment. So the other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Oh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Oh, I tell you the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing. Huh? Ah! Oh, Lord Bowser. Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. I'm not funny, sir. He's not funny, sir. Lord Bowser, I have been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your surliness. Uh, super. In that case, I order you to do some sit-ups, Tubby. Is that the same thing? Yep. Okay, he says the same thing. I love his, like, little, uh, uh, what is, what is it, like, pouty cross-arm expression. Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. Hmm, nope. I wish they would react to getting flamed on, though. Hail, Lord Bowser. Hail, Lord Bowser. Oh, I don't get to talk to those two. Ah, Lord Bowser. <sighs> I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kami Koopa. Now, out with it! Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness, don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh! Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. Treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The crystal stars, you say? 
They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them. Hmm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? You bet I do. Blar, I hate them. Blar, I hate them. Blah. Ugh, I almost threw up just now. I can't stand fried eggs. But why do you ask? Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Arrgh! A picnic? You moron! This is no time for fun. See, this is why my evil plans always derail. Because you claws always goof off. Arr! Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. Hmm? What's that? What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news! Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport. What? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? Oh, when? Where? Who do such a thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so! I will not stand for this! I'm going to Rogueport now! I've got to kidnap her back! Nice three-point turn, uh, par parking turn there. But your grunginess, wait up! Bowser's one of the best things in this game. <laughs> yeah, we do. Do they teleport us back to Rogueport? I think they do. Okay, we're back here. Coops, my lad! Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm... Well, I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy! But always remember this. You are my son, Koops, and I am your father. Koops, my sweet... I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Ahem! May I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Coops! Don't you ever forget that! This village will always be your home! Okay, thank you everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario? The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the banner to the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the books say. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand-year door... So, that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magic map? Exactly! Come on, let's go! Booyah! We got him for real. Oh, let's see. Let's check out the uh, dialogue for everybody. That's Koop's dad, Koopley. Seems kind of out of it. Are all Koopa's space cadets? Then again, Koop's is really with it. Maybe that's because his dad is like this? Anyway, Koopley does worry about Koop's a lot, so I guess he's a good dad after all. Take care of young Koop's, will you, Mario? I'm looking forward to the day my boy comes home a full-grown Koopa. Does he say anything different if Koops is out? No matter where it is you go, son, just know that your old Koopa is rooting for you. Do your best, dear Koops. I'll be waiting for you. Take care of Koops, please. Oh, 
Murphy. I was sure that you could get that crystal star. That's Kroop, the mayor of Petalburg. He just babbles, whether he's alone or not. I just can't tell if he's really senile or if he's just working that angle, you know? Alrighty. I think I've read all the dialogue for everybody in Petalburg. So, let's see. Gotta hurt Mario. So we don't waste a healing item. Well, that shouldn't be a problem now after that hooktail fight. Absolutely nothing! And no life shrooms either. Okay, well, we're gonna have to hope that I don't need a life shroom for the second part of my journey. But I do think I'll be able to stock up on some good items in time for the next boss fight. Alright, let's go! We're off on our adventure for Chapter 2. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Chapter 3. A, because it's a fun chapter. And B, because once I get to Chapter 3... Oh, oh! Mario, are you okay? You're totally shaking! Do you need the bathroom? Oh, is that a mailbox SP? Cool! With the light? Hey, who's that mail from? My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. Mario, please collect these crystal stars before they do. You must! They are already aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me, Princess Peach. Wow! Wait a second! Isn't that from Princess Peach? THE princess? So that means she's okay! At least she's not hurt! But it sounds like whoever kidnapped Princess Peach is also after the Crystal Stars. Mysteries unfurl. Uh-oh. Nyp-nyp-nyp-nyp-nyp-nyp-nyp. Goombas only give me like one experience point or star point now. Plus they can almost kill me, so might as well not, uh, might as well avoid them. I really like the funky beat for the Petalburg soundtrack. It's like a nice little... Uh, you know, chill remix of the Mario main theme. I also want to touch base with Franklin. So earlier I tattled on uh, Hooktail, but then died. Uh, so what I think I'll do is if I, you know, tattle on someone and then die, I won't bother to retattle them. But this game gives you a nice option to collect data on characters you missed. So there's never like a missable moment if you want to collect a full bestiary. So we're going to go show you that in Professor Frankly's office, and we'll see if uh, Zesty is still mad at us for smashing her contact lens. Hey, look who it is! Who's this guy? Come on, you really need to ask me that. Give me a break! That's your brother, Luigi! But I wonder why he's here. I'm sure he'll tell you if you ask him. Well, hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What a coinky dink. Eh? Who? Me? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. If you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was pretty crazy, bro. You wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. No. Oh, really? You're lost, bro. Maybe I'll tell you about it some other time. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Let's say yes. Hey, it sounds good to me. Which part of my story you wanna hear, bro? Waffle Kingdom letter? Well, like I said, it's a really long story. But here goes. My big brother, that's you, bro, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh, this is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Crip. I am a cabinet minister in the far-off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King who took our Princess Crip. I ask Nebega for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Crepe. 
well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone, it fell to me to answer this plea. Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking. Then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Crepe, who filled me in. The Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently, though, some oracles said a marvelous compass could locate her. This marvelous compass has been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts have been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the marvelous compass was said to point it to the next. And since one of the parts was assembled in the triara worn by the princesses, I surmised that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, uh huh? The minister gave me the compass, but the compass base. Oh, the minister gave me the compass base spoken of in Waffler Fables. When it activated, the entire thing lit right up, indicating the deep south. It was pointing me toward the Rumple Bump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am! I was sailing out of a rogue port for Rumple Bump Volcano! It's probably gonna be a pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess! <laughs> if you wanna hear what I've been up to, just come and find me, okay? I'll be around! <laughs> I love Luigi. Oh, come on, Nintendo! Please, oh please, give us the... A prequel sequel with Luigi's story for a future Paper Mario game. All right, here's the note I was talking about. Oh. Okay, bold cleft. Is that it? Let's see. Is it? Where? Where is that? Is that in journal? Tattle log. So I missed my chance to tattle on bold cleft in that kingdom. Bald cleft. There it is. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe, uh, there's also, there's so much flavor text in this game, you'll, you'll, you're bound to miss some of it. Let's see. What about, uh, what, where's Hooktail? Hooktail! Where are you, Hooktail? No, I don't see her. Oh, well. Oh, Galloping Goombas! You got a crystal star! Magnificent, Mario! I knew you could do it! First, you must take that d down to the thousand-year door. Then we'll talk. Oh, another one. Uh, Gold Fuzzy. And Hooktail. Red Bones. Oh, I missed tattling on him, too. Damn, I missed a lot of tattling. Okay. I'm still not tough enough to take on that dude. Even after Hooktail. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if the contact lens came in for Zesty. The feisty, zesty, uh, cookie. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, valued customer, your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. Hooktail terrorizing Petal Meadows. If it sees you, pretend to be a cricket. Or something. Oh, I already read that. Okay. Ye okay, we already saw that too. I am I have enough money. I'm going to need ten coins for that contact lens. Want to buy it, fella? Thanks, fella. Oh, is that who I think it is? Yeah, that's that weird guy. I don't have enough money to buy anything. Hey, 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 yo! I've got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. You got the fevered look of a man with a mind for goods. Wanna buy something? What? No more shopping? Sorry to hear that, my man. This is a limited time offer. I change the goods I offer from time to time. So come back real soon, all right? That guy's Charlieton. He's a salesman from way far away. His prices are steep, but he's normally got rare items and pretty unusual badges. He might even have a few completely unique items that he dug up somewhere. Uh, attack, FX, the W emblem, the Repel Cape, and the Earthquake. Alright. Doop. Doop. You should be a goalie, ma'am. That's ST, a super skilled toad chef. With the right ingredients, she can make anything. She's like a kitchen magician. I'm like a total klutz in the kitchen. So I really respect a chef's touch. Let's give her what she wants. Did you bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? A contact 
contact lens! Oh, sweet relief! Thank you! Finally, the world is crisp and clear again! I can see! Oh, I'm so happy! Be careful from now on. Please don't gener- What? Oh, people don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. Roasted. Oh, so if it's you again, huh, Mr. Stompolite? Well, my name is Zesty. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me ingredients, my cooking skills burst to life and culinary magic happens. Want me to whip up something for you right now? Oh, what a complete letdown. I thought you could put my skills to the test. <laughs> What's funny about this is the chef in the Paper Mario 64 game is so sweet compared to her. All right, we've unlocked that part of town, but there's not too much to do over here. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek around. Privilege. The haves and the have-nots. There's the dark and uh, under, uh, underbelly of Rogueport and the wealthy uh, gentrified section. Ah, oh, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Rogueport. That's Gomez, the Goomba. He must be totally tired. He's always resting here. Who can blame him, though? We could all use some downtime, am I right? Gomez, huh? Like Gomez, all right. This guy really likes... No, he totally loves the Happy Lucky Lottery. He wakes up each day with one thing in mind. That day is winning number. Oh, another day, another stupid losing lottery ticket. But I'm sure I'll win tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I, I'll be here until tomorrow. I almost fell down that grate. Man, that was close. I know where that thing leads to, too. All too well. And I don't want to go there. That's a neighborhood kid. He seems like going out and exploring. He seems to like going out and exploring new places. But he does seem to have a gripe about his family. I wonder what it is. What? I missed that. Wow, this town may be full of rogues and punks, but this part feels sure feels safe. Don Pianta does such a good job of managing things, I feel totally safe shopping here. That's a toad from the west side. She's a big theater goer, and apparently she's also a raving fan of flurries. Oh, okay, nice foreshadowing there, game. I won't say anything more for people who haven't played Paper Mario. Ooh, look at this. I think this kid lives here. He's afraid to go outside, so he spends all day in here. He's got some family issues, I think, but it's not our place to stick our noses. Then how do you know about it? Kids this age tend to over-dramatize their problems anyway. Know what I mean? Oh, roast on kids. My dad's writing a novel. But it'll never sell. It's terrible. That guy's a frustrated novelist. He's got great ideas, but he ruins them on paper. I think he just psychs himself out. I mean, he's got the talent and all. Ugh, my wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere on my novel. <coughs> I need to go off to places I've never seen to get inspired to write! Or something! Just buckle down and do it. Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Make your dreams come true! Do it! Do it! Do it! Shia LaBeouf memes. <laughs> that was because he was in like a contemporary art art class. I bet, I bet I read some of the same weird postmodern theory that Shia LaBeouf did in art school. <laughs> Ooh, who's this dude? Hello, are you alone? <laughs> what am I talking about? That Koopa lives here. He must have been born lucky, because he always succeeds. He has all the money you'll ever need, but I think he's still unfulfilled somehow. Hmm, then again, that doesn't surprise me, since he spends all day in bed. It just goes to show, you can't buy happiness, and you should occasionally leave bed. There is so much wisdom in this game. Oh, I don't need to read that again. Yet another day dwindles away while I loaf in bed doing nothing. Oh well, I am rich after all. Let's 
Z. Is that the same guy? Yeah, that's the same guy. Oh boy, the happy lucky lottery guy. Dum da da dum da do. Everybody's a lucky day with happy lucky lottery. With new numbers every day, this lottery's fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Get lost. Is that so? Unhappy. Yes, that's too bad. Well, come back when you feel like playing the happy lucky lottery. Uh, explain it again? That's the way! Happy Lucky Lottery is so special! You pick numbers! They might win each day! Just buy your numbers here, one at a time! Buy another if you change your mind. Then check back later on this board to see if your number has come in! If your number matches the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize! The day's number is drawn each night at midnight. If you play and check the board every day, your number is sure to come in eventually. And when I say midnight, I mean according to your Nintendo GameCube clock. So go ahead, buy a number. Only ten coins for a new number. Who wouldn't buy one for ten coins? Need anything else? I want a number. You're going to buy a number? Happy, lucky, it's only ten coins for new customers. So please give me ten coins, okay? Never mind. I see. Well, if you need anything, just ask, okay? Be happy and lucky. I'm too poor to waste my money on the lottery. I actually want to enter this because uh, there's a video on YouTube explaining the, ma the mathematics of this, but it's entirely dependent upon the clock. Uh, bob bomb lottery rules. Jackpot, all numbers match. Three numbers match. Third prize, two numbers pat match. Fourth prize, one number matches. Today's winning number, 8396. Are you a winner? Alrighty, righty So I'm going to need to try to get 10 coins and get a happy nu uh, lucky lottery thing because I'll want the badge or whatever it is I can get from that. Ha! <laughs> the censored part of this game. They had bunny ears in Japan. Oh, good. I can buy these now. Okay, I'll have to save up a lot. So I can get life shrooms now at this point in the game. It'll just be like an investment to get them. And if I'm careful, super shrooms might be better because then the, I guess the advantage is I don't waste a turn if I die and then the, the life shroom kicks in automatically. Hi there, cutie. Welcome to West Side Goods. What can I do for you? What is it? I don't remember what the secret password is. I, I used to have that memorized so I could skip part of the game. Ah, uh, Pianta Parla. Hmm. The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you out like that. Ooh. Ga a den of sin and gambling. That's a Goomba who really likes this parlor. He always seems to be in a good mood. I wouldn't mind winning like he does every now and then. Lucky stiff. That's a parlor customer. I think she leaves her hubby home with the kids so she can play here all day long. Yeah, that's healthy. I love checking my scores on this machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? My husband is worried about me? Oh, don't be silly. He doesn't mind. As long as he's writing, he doesn't notice what anyone else does. Hey, how you doing? What? Me? I'm on top of the world, baby. What's that now? You want to know how to get a member's card, do you? Well, let's see. Maybe if you help someone in trouble, they'll give it to you. This is the scoreboard. Choose a score to check. Oh yeah, you can like get some records on this. I wonder what the world records are for these. Uh, you have no piantas. Get some piantas first. That's a parlor customer. She's a squeak, it looks like. Good to see a girl in here. It's a good sign if this place is safe enough for regular folks to go to. Psst. This place is run by Don Pianta. You can play games in here and win Pianta tokens to redeem for prizes. Yeah, play to win and get those prizes. I am the Pianta Changer changing machine. I am called Pianta Changer. I exchange one Pianta for three coins. Want to exchange? Let's get one. B, B, Dobby, B, exchange complete. Want to exchange more? 
Thank you very much. Come again. Welcome to the parlor. Hey, hey, you're Mario. Like the one and only. I know all about you. Rescuing Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So what can I show you? You can trade in the piantas you've won for prizes. And some of our prizes can't be found anywhere else. Cake mix. Super appeal. Get more star points when Mario appeals, which will be useless to me. Refund. Refund some coins if you use an item in battle. That's okay. I might actually I might use that. Unless I can win a bunch, then it's not gonna be that useful to me. Wait, how do I enter the game? Try the slots. How do I Oh I gotta get okay, I actually gotta like try the game. Let's try the slots. Why not waste our money? Ah, there's a trick to this. You have no piantas. That's a that's Rocco of the piña the pi, piñatas pianta. That's Rocco of the piantas. He's the muscle that keeps the parlor moving smoothly. He's new to the pianta syndicate. I think he's still the low man on the totem pole. Wait, did she say anything about like the baby booze? Did I read this already? Okay, I haven't read this actually. This is Rogueport's west side. This is totally the friendlier face of Rogueport. Not that it's, you know, a great place to raise a family, but it's good for Rogueport. The corner with the fountain is definitely the most restful spot in Rogueport. This area is controlled by Don Pianta, head of the Pianta Syndicate. Yeah, the shop and parlor are totally fronts for his business. Anyone else we need to talk? Oh, I haven't had I haven't tattled on this guy. A new day, a new chance. That's Lucky, who runs the Happy Lucky Lottery. He's a real stickler for the rules, so if he catches you cheating, well, just be careful, Mario. The way you cheat is by messing with the uh, GameCube clock, but you actually can cheat without getting caught. That's Pika, a boo that works at Westside Goods. She's so pretty for a boo. I think her sister's Lala. Lala, the boo who works in the Pianta parlor. Lala boo and Pika boo. What? No, Baba boo. <laughs> all right, I think I've explored all this area. The train won't matter for now. Ooh. Okay, I can't get over there yet. Woo! Hey, 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 we're on the other side. It doesn't seem to open. See? Oh, I've never seen your face around these parts. Who are you? Ha! I get it. You're a wanted man above ground. It can't be seen in town, eh? Huh? No? Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. That's a subterranean Goomba. I think he just moved down here recently. Even so, he sure seems to know a lot about these ruins. What's he do for a living? Ooh, treasure! Soft Stomp. Executes superbly to make enemies soft, but that won't matter. <laughs> so many badges I can't use! Secrets? <laughs> I'll need to Butt Stomp before I find a lot more secrets. This squeak seems to be an archaeologist, and she's here to research the underground. But it sounds like she lost her partner down here. I feel like so bad for her. Oh, did you come here to do research, too? Excuse me? You're an adventurer? Really? Wow. That's the first time I've ever heard anyone describe their occupation as adventurer. <laughs> I think she just roasted us. Ooh, an Andy Bandy. That's Eddie the Mask. He's some kind of health nut. Lots of nuts down here, huh? This one's a health nut, though, so he knows about stylish moves. Ask him. Yo! Eddie the Mask here. Sports fan extraordinaire. Know about stylish moves? Just press A with perfect timing during attack to pull off a stylish move. If you do it right, the crowd will go nuts and some attacks have multiple ones. 
Each attack has different timing for stylish moves, but I'll share one with you. After you've jumped on an enemy, try pressing A at the height of your rebound. Sound hard? Well, it ain't easy. That's why you gotta practice, yo! I found a man after my own heart, boy! Wait, 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 wait. They didn't put a star, a star sprite there? Come on. What are they called? Star shards? Oh, the item thing is falling over. All right, let's see here. Uh, slow shroom. That's not the most useful thing. I'll test it out and see if it's worth its money. Gradual syrup, ultra shroom, jam and jelly, gold bar. Gold bar is good if you have like a ton of money and you want to like, if you, if you like reach 90, 999 coins, that could be useful. Oh, a visitor, eh? Hey, man, this dude knows everything! He'll give you some seriously good advice! Of course, you'll have to pay him for it. Yeah, that's the way it goes. That's a bandit who lives underground. He seems to come by the shop often. He must like talking to Wonky and the shop owner, huh? Go figure. That's Wonky, the go-to guy for useful info. He looks nuts, but I think his tips are okay. Just make sure you get your money's worth. Not that you'll know until you pay. Howdy! My name's Wonky, and I just know stuff. I may not look like much, but I know a thing or two. You better believe it. And who knows? The stuff I know may be even stuff that could help you. So if you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask away. <laughs> Something you want to ask of old Wonky, right? If you pay me five coins, I suppose I can tell you about the incident I saw. You don't have enough coins! You must have cash before you try to buy something! This bob lives down here. That pink color is really cute. But I think this is a dude. He's got his own ambitions of being an info guy like Wonky, selling tips for cash. But his tips don't even make a tiny little bit of sense. Hello? Can you say stupid? I know subs too, seriously! Like, when the wind blows, the cradle will fall. I just don't know why it falls, cause no one tells me! That's the cola bar owner. Cola bar, Herb T. He's a middle-aged guy with a wild mustache. He may look like just another glass polisher, but he's an old school cola bartender. He's hilarious, but I'm sure he's, he, he's heard his share of super depressing stuff, too. This is a special refuge for all where we cultivate information. Herb T's place. Sit back and enjoy yourself. Where's the hilarity go? Man, she knows everything. It's kind of weird. Wait, is there any interesting gossip about the uh, cute tote uh, item shop owner down in the evil underground? That's the manager of the Deep Down Depot. She seems to be pretty courteous. Hey, and there are some super classy items on display here, huh? But jeepers creepers! What sort of person buys gold bars anyway? Freaks, that's who! Ha! <laughs> Goombella is not prepared for the rapid inflation that will hit the economy. Okay, and I can't get through there yet. Ooh, okay, I'm kind of stuck. I'll go back this way. Lizzie. I don't want to fight yet. I think we're going to go unlock Chapter 2, and we'll come back to this later. There's plenty of time to explore. Right now, I'm kind of wondering if I should have leveled up Goombella instead of Koops, too. Because I ended up not using any of his uh, attacks. I thought I would need Koops for Hooktail. Uh, the nice thing about Goombella is when Goombella levels up, we theoretically could get infinite damage as long as I'm perfect with action commands for a long enough time. Which means that for later fights, when I'm really getting stuck, Goombella's multi-bonk that she'll learn could be a way of getting out me out of a lot of jams.
Wait a second. Okay, I know how to get to where I'm going. Yeah, that's the opposite side of that. Did I check out this cra crazy old crone while I was here? That's Dazzle, the star piece collector. I think I did this. Why do you think she collect... Okay, I'm going to read this because I don't know if I have. That's Dazzle, the star piece collector. He'll trade you badges for star pieces. Once you collect a few star pieces, you should definitely come talk to him. But, hey... Why do you think he collects them anyway? You think he bathes in them? <laughs> Wait, he's a guy? My name is Dazzle, and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. So, guy, if you have any star pieces, I'll trade you my badges for them. Yay! Come on, let's trade! Okay, see you later. Oh, come on. Gotta pay attention. I'll do it. Which badge do you want to trade for? Okay, what's actually useful to me? This could be useful. Uh, power plus, that won't, that'll be useless. Boost your attack partner's attack by one. Okay, maybe I should save up for that. Uh, that doesn't matter. That is useful. Uh, drop flower points used when your partner attacks. Quick change! Quick change! Yes! I'll trade quick change for sweet, sweet star pieces. How does eight sound? You need 7 BP to wear this badge, okay, guy? Ooh, that's a lot. You sure you want it? Yes, I do. Yes, okay. Now I've got to get enough BP to use that. That'll change the whole game. So Quick Trade will allow me to change out my partners quickly, meaning that I won't be losing a turn every every turn now. Can't we trade some more? Uh, attack FXY. Why not? So let's see. So that's the cricket sound. And you can have multiple sound effects on if you want to like keep changing your sound. A d uh, what would I describe that as? Kind of like an empty ding of a pan. Alright. Let's save so we don't lose anything. And now we got shortcuts! Shortcuts! So much backtracking in this game. All right, we're going to open up Chapter 2, and then I think we will call this episode a day. Ooh. Let's give Coops a chance to talk. Um, all right, Mario. Hold up that crystal star. It's so cool, it's like a pop-up book. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Hey, uh, Mario, look there! This cri the next crystal star showed up on the map. But... I'm sorry, but I don't have a clue where that is. Um, I think maybe we should take it to Professor Frankly and let him look at it. Oh, we already filled you in on everything, huh? I see, I see. Crystal clear. Um, so can you tell us where the next crystal star is or not? 
It is in the Bogley Woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree in the Bogley Woods, huh? About those woods, I think some odd creatures live there. Behold! If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. Um, Professor Frankly, you should probably know. It's about Princess Peach. Mr. Mario just got an email from her just recently. Her Highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are also hunting crystal stars. Oh, and she said she doesn't even know where she's being held. Yeah. Uh-oh! If Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the crystal stars, what could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be... Ah! Oh, too many unknowns! Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the crystal stars and the map. Um, I guess all we can do is head to Bogley Woods to find that next crystal star. Yes, I recommend you do just that, and find it before the princess's captors do. But that, but don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, draw by the shop and inn first. I'll keep researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. All right. This is the part of the game where you go exploring around. Uh, what, what's neat about this is you would have seen a little one of those uh, Bogleys before when, uh, when you were on your way to Hooktail, and then it would have just immediately run out of sight. So if you had a good memory, you got you in the audience might remember when we saw one of those little things down here. Otherwise, you just have been exploring around trying to figure out the way to get to Bogley Woods. Good game design. Good game design. I like it. Hey, Mario, you see that? That was one of the things Professor Frankly mentioned. Da da da. Guess again, nerd! No! Please leave me alone, you big meanies! Um, Mario, that was uncool. Don't say stuff like that. I thought you were nicer. Oh, I feel bad. Relax, relax, little guy. We're not bullies, I swear. For real? Okay, I can't do that. I can't do that falsetto forever. I'm gonna die. Alright, so, uh, this guy, he's like, sort of like, just like a regular Joe kid. Phew! Boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have had an accident. Um, aren't you one of those creatures from Bogley Woods? Why are you down here? What? Why do you know about me? No! Y you must be! You guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me here! No! It's the end! x knots What the heck are those? Sound like tissues. To the extreme or something. Look, we're not here to do anything to you, so relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? Well, okay. This gang of bad guys who call themselves x knots came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So, I've come all the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys in the great tree? If those are the same guys who kidnapped the princess, they want the crystal star. Now that you mention it, they did say something about same some crystal star thingy. But we punies don't know anything about crystals or stars. Say, could you help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you... Uh... What was it? The crystal star? If you do, we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but it'll help us reclaim our tree. I'm sure the elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? Um, I guess we should. I'd feel pretty bad if we didn't do anything. Plus, we don't need to get the crystal stars before the X guy... Oh, blah, 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 Another take. Plus, we do need to get the crystal stars before those X guys do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name is Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? 
This is the way. Oh wait, let's see if Goombella says anything interesting. That's Punio, who lives in the Great Tree of Bogley Woods. And hey, he must be the one we saw earlier, right? Yeah, totally! Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the puny elder said some button around here opened the secret entrance. Aha! Anything interesting about this? We're down below Roadport. I never knew this room was connected like this. If you see, wait, I'm doing like Coop's voice for Goombella. If you see a similar entrance in another area, you should totally check it out. Secret, 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 secret. Yeah! We got damage dodge. Decrease the damage by one with a guard action command, which is useless for Mario, but might. I don't know if it works for partners too. I'll test it out. You can get to the woods we punies live in by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry! Da 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 da, chapter two. The Great Bogley. Oh, I didn't read it! I'm such a bad storybook reader! Bogley Woods. These are the Bogley Woods. They sure look boggling. Oh, I've got butterflies. Um, okay, just a bit further, and we should be able to get see the Great Tree. The Elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister, too! Come on, let's go. Yeah, I need to give him, like, a boyish squeaky voice so I can do, like, the little sister squeaky voice later and still have octaves I can go up. Let's see here. This is the start of Chapter 2, so I think we're good. We beat Hooktail, we explore around, and we're, we're next time on Number 1 Marmaduke Fan, we will explore Bogley Woods. Hey, here's a video game giveaway. I'm giving away a digital code for She Remembered Caterpillars on Steam. This is a story-based color puzzle game. If you'd like to win this game, write a comment in the comment section and use the word caterpillars anywhere in your comment. With that, I'm number one Marmaduke fan. I love you guys. If you like this channel, why don't you like, comment, subscribe, click the bell to receive notifications, and please check out my subscribe star, the best way to support this channel. Thanks to everyone who's been supporting this channel this year. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you later.